Hello everyone, my name is Nashom and welcome to my channel Let's Get Psyched. Today we are going to do a demonstration on the experiment Recall and Recognition. In my previous video, you must have uh, seen how to create material for Recall and Recognition. In today's video, I am going to give you a demonstration of the actual experiment. So the experiment demands that each word be written on a card. So I have some cards here on which I have written a word. Uh, it's not very clear right now, uh, but this is how I have prepared my material. In this experiment, I'm going to have a subject come in and I'm going to give certain instructions. So we'll begin with part one of the experiment. Play close attention to what's being done so that you all can replicate the same. So I'm going to call in my subject, all right? And I'm going to give instructions and then we're going to begin. I'm going to show you a card with a word written on it for five seconds. Try and remember what is written. After a break of two minutes, you're supposed to recall. So this was the instructions. Now, as I, as you must have heard, the card has to be shown only for five seconds. So you take the card, show it to the subject and count in your head for five seconds. Keep it down. All right. Then you show the second card. You can count for five seconds and keep it down. So I'm showing one, two, three, four, five. And I'm keeping it down. We usually don't use a stopwatch because it's too much of work and counting in the head works just as fine. So one, two, three, four, five. And I keep it down. One, two, three, four, five. And I keep it down. One, two, three, four. 4, 5 and I keep it down. Now while you're doing this, make sure the subject is not scribbling. So I, I have given the subject a piece of paper here. Make sure the subject is not writing the word. Now there's a break of 2 minutes. In this 2 minute break, you have to have a conversation with your subject. Keep the conversation light. Do not talk about the words that you have just shown the subject. And uh, just ask them how are you, what's going on and stuff like that. This has taken shorter time because I have only shown 7 words. You would actually show 20 words. It would take much longer time. So for the sake of the video, just let's assume 2 minutes are done. And now you tell your subject. How many ever words you remember, write them down on this piece of paper. It need not be any particular order. You can write them anyhow. While your subject is writing the words, what you have to do is, so this is set A, this is set B. You then have to shuffle the words from set A and set B. So I'm going to actually try and shuffle the words. Try and mix them nicely. A precaution that you need to take is that there is no sort of indication which is list A and which is list B. Sometimes what students do is they themselves to understand which is A and B, they'll write in the corner A, B. Then the subject will see it, it will remember which is A and which is B. Now the question may arise how much time to give the subject to recall their words. So give them about a minute. Uh, usually they, they say a bahogya. If they still want more, then give them a minute and a half. But after that you ask them to stop. So I had shown my subject some seven words. He has recalled five. All right. So this would be the subject's recall score. He has recalled this on a piece of paper. Be sure to take it back from the subject. All right. Take the paper back and keep it aside. These words have now been shuffled. Now over here, you should have your result sheet ready. So this is the result sheet that I have made. All right. And in this result sheet, we're just going to be saying, taking down the subject's response. Okay. So I'll give the instruction and then I'll get back to what you have to do. In this part of the experiment, I'm going to show you a card with the word written on it. If you have seen the word in the previous list, that is in the previous time list A, you say yes. If you have not seen the word in the previous list, you say no. Okay? Okay. So over here, what we have to do is we have to simply write the subject's response, yes or no. Iske ilawa aur kuch nahi karna hai. And of course, you have to show the words. And you have to keep the words down very, very carefully. Okay, so you may not be able to see what I am doing. But with my right hand, I am writing 
the subject's response that is yes or no and in the left hand i'm going to show the words all right so i'm going to begin again you have to show the card for five seconds each if the subject does not say yes or no prompt them like say you have to say whether you saw it in the first list or not so let's begin yes so then i'm writing here yes even a y will do yes no no yes no no make sure you're keeping the cards in order because you know you have to correct them in the same order no yes no yes no yes yes so over here as you can see i have a list of the subjects responses whether they have said yes or no the calculation will do a little later i'm just going to ask subjects some questions so which list did you find easier list two why did you find this two easier because after seeing them i remembered them after seeing them you remembered them okay did you use any tricks to remember what you were seeing no no tricks no tricks okay uh, how did you remember so many words in the first list i just kept repeating them when i saw them you repeated them once you saw them okay what i have done now is known as an introspective report so asking the subject questions after the experiment is over is known as an introspective report so you're supposed to take this introspection report and uh, that's the end of the experiment so you can go now thank you uh, i'll continue to tell you how you have to now score um, this particular results all right so if you see over here uh, this is the stack that i had kept using the first word is towel a uh, towel was in the first list and the subject has said yes it was there so i mark it a uh, right okay if the word was in the first list and the subject said yes then it is right uh, the next word was truck truck was also in the first list and the subject said yes so it would get a uh, right okay the third word is button button was not in the first list okay because i know what was were in which list so i know that button was not in the first list and the subject said no so it was not in the list subject said no therefore it is a correct answer sometimes students make the mistake they think they think yes means correct no means wrong that's not the case if the list if the word was in list a and the subject said yes it was there it is correct if the list was not sorry if the word was not in list a and the subject says no then also it is correct when will be a response or when will a response be wrong is if the word was in list a and the subject says no means shabd list a mein tha par subject bola nahi nahi tha then it will be wrong or if the word was not in list a like suppose the word chest was not in list a but the subject said yes it was there then it would be a wrong answer so once you get these um correct and wrong responses then you have to just compare the two and you will come to know which score was higher recall and recognition this is the procedure however this is not the full experiment because we have not discussed the hypothesis nor the precautions it's just one way to understand how it is conducted so how the instructions are given how you have to show the cards how you have to make the cards this is just a quick understanding of the demonstration 
i hope this was helpful to you as well and um, keep looking forward for more videos thank you